Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 5th of October 2022 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always Pisces. Let's see what we have for you. Card has turned over. We have Forgiveness Pisces. Let's pull some cards and see what we have for you. What do we have for Pisces, please? Message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. 5th of October, 2022 for Pisces. Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for Pisces for the day? There's a little heartfelt message, Pisces. We have the world completing a cycle and stepping through to a brand new phase of your life where the King of Pentacles can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female or the energy of the card. This feels, Pisces, somebody wants to start over. Uh, they want to draw a line under whatever has gone on between you um, and step through to a brand new phase of your life. This is lessons, a feeling of lessons have been learned here and a promise from somebody that they're not going to make the same mistakes as they've made before. It might well be that that's part of this message that somebody is saying to you here. I've, I've learnt from my mistake and I won't make it again. That is the energy here. Can we step through to a brand new phase of our lives? And that's what I'm really feeling here in this reading. Because the King of Pentacles can be all about stability and security. I feel that's been challenged. I feel whatever this King of Pentacles did, male or female, this is somebody who may have undermined your relationship with them, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a family member, whether it's love romance. This is generally, but I feel that you had a lot invested in this person. Uh, this is some the last person that you would have expected to break your trust, but they did. And this is a significant energy of their wanting to promise stability and security now back in your life. Because there's a feeling of, I'm not going to make the same mistakes that I've made before. I've learned from that experience and I want to start over. I want to reconnect to you in some way. This feels like they want miracles out of mistakes in the sense that they're not, they want to move on from this, but they've learned some valuable lessons, I feel, of the past. That is what I'm getting quite strongly here, Pisces. Let's pull you a final card. Again, free, to, free will. You'll have a decision to make, I feel. But I feel this person is reaching out to you to start over. Final message for Pisces, please. Well, you'll be inspired, I think, by Spirit, God, the universe. We have inspiration. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the Fairy of Inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. Yeah, I think you'll, you're going to be given some inspiration in how to deal with this. Whether you can, I mean, we can always forgive. Whether we forget and can truly put it behind us is another thing, isn't it? So it might well be some decision that you have to make. We have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. <laughs> this feels like you're going to be inspired on how you're going to take action. Do you see those two cards? I feel Spirit is telling you, you'll get the inspiration that you need on what the right thing to do is in regard to this. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.